Good morning, artists, and welcome to the studio. My name is Allison Jensen, and I'm the owner of Orange Easel School of Art here in downtown Liberty, Missouri. And all summer long, we've been coming at you live at 11 a.m. on weekdays to give you creative ideas that you can do at home with your kiddos just to make that summer just that much better. So we've got one today. We're going to make some artsy DIY superhero capes for your kiddos. I figure it's getting really hot outside. Some of that play might be moving inside. An imaginative play is one of those that um, keeps kids entertained, it encourages that creativity, it encourages negotiation and communication skills, it encourages imagination and problem solving, and so hopefully these capes help to spawn your creative play inside. So we're going to make them. They're very easy to make. I've got a plain white t-shirt here that I pulled out of my stash. Um, actually, it's brand new and it still has a sticker on it. So. If you don't have a plain white t-shirt, you could use any light colored t-shirt. And the good thing about this is you could use a light colored t-shirt that maybe got like ruined on the front, right? So as long as it doesn't have anything on the back or it doesn't have anything too big on the back, you can make this work. Um, anything like light colored and plain on the back is good to go. So this is my plain white one. You're going to need a nice sharp pair of scissors. So these are our fabric scissors that I pulled out of the back that are in a giant bin that says for fabric only, no paper. <laughs> so you want a nice sharp pair of scissors, otherwise um, cutting through fabric is easier with sharp scissors. So t-shirt, sharp scissors. Brand new t-shirt, plain white t-shirt, or an old t-shirt works just fine. You can also use, it doesn't have to be a kid's t-shirt, you could use a grown-up's t-shirt as well. And then to decorate it, I'm using just plain acrylic paints, um, again, from the craft section. We've used them before, so if you purchase them to do, um, I even forgot what project we used them for, but if you purchase them to do that project, you can use them again for this project so that you can use them up. So I've got some plain um, craft acrylic paint that we're going to water down. All right, and I've got a tray here too, but I always have a tray, right? All right, so here is how this works. You're going to use the t-shirt, we're going to use the back of the t-shirt as the cape, we're going to get rid of the front of the t-shirt, and we're